Alright everybody, I am uh, apparently forgot and also did not read who the next boss was of the cove. It is the Drowned Crew, which I don't know if I change my tune on how it's going to go. I still think it's going to be decent, but I do think it's going to be slightly more complicated. Um, usually you want like a leper high dodge kind of situation. We have decent burst damage, good DOT, so I don't know if I'm going to be, like, incredibly worried, but it is something to consider. Um, also, wow, just, I love shield breakers. I really do. I think they are, like, 100% busted, except for their HP. The amount of times I have lost shield breakers is insane because they get critical striked once. And the good and negative thing about them is they are so fast, they will go before almost everyone else, which means if they get a DOT on them, they're dead. Now, obviously, no DOT here, but I'm just saying, like, if it's a critical, like, if that punishment would have taken me to death's door more times than not, the shield breaker is one of the first people to go, and then she just dies. So that's kind of why they're also death prone. The low HP and the sheer speed of them can really result in just shield breakers dropping very quick. So that's probably why I've lost a lot. Oh, 30 damage. Holy snap. What the heck? What the, oh, that's some, that was some juicy damage. Holy cow. Um, no antiquarian. Uh, who's gonna be the best disarmer? Probably with the one with the map 105. Yeah, so. I don't really mess around with traps, especially in the cove. I think it's like 20 turns of negative debuff or whatever. It might be different on apprentice level and stuff, but I don't care. I don't. It's just not worth removing 8 stress to take. Tw ah! Alright. There. There is a stun potential. If I go for the shield breaker into death. Dead. Very, very dead. Oh. I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to think. Yeah. It's good damage. Just don't need to think here. Could puncture. But I'm just gonna pierce it, I think. The only reason why I thought about puncturing is the guard, but he did it on him. Excellent. As I'll say, because that guard could have been problematic. I'm still gonna stun up. I'm gonna try to stun the collector. What's the collector's stun resist? It's not the greatest, also not the worst. 50? It's 50 50. It's 70% chance without a critical. It should be good. Alright. See you guys later. It's been a pleasure. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is fine. If I can do like a Pierce or a. Uh, he got the good speed roll too. Good. Actually, he has 7 speed. That's a lot. Holy cow. Uh, if I can get a Pierce and a Plague Grenade before the collector goes, might be death. Yeah, this might be death. Oh, definitely death. Holy cow. Bye bye. Toodaloo, my darling. Oh, and you even give me the Vestal to heal up with. Thank you, RNG. Nice. Yeah, I I wasn't like... I just like to overreact, guys. A majority of Apprentice fights are truly not death-provoking. It's just like, I have a game plan in my head. I'm actually going to head down to this room battle, try to get a double scout out here, and if it doesn't happen... If it doesn't happen, if we get a, a single scout and if I don't see anything here, I will go for the double because it is two spaces away. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really coming back down here, so secret rooms down here. There's no chance that um, I'm coming back down, so we might as well try to grab it now. This party can heal, cannot stress heal, so the madman does indeed have to die as soon as possible. Um, spear fishing is not a bad ability, especially against this party. We got so many different types of shuffle and whatnot that, yeah, if you shuffle me, so be it. If you don't, whatever. Um, 
Because if you pull someone forward, the Vestal goes further back, just unlocking her skills. And if the Shield Breaker goes back, she can pierce forward. If she goes forward, she can add her kiss. You know, it's a really dancing party, and the Grave Robber's never going to move out of the fourth position. Unless, obviously, we get a surprise. Which, we have a lot of good scouting stuff. I don't have um, anti-surprise trinkets, so... We could still get surprised, but I believe... Well, I know for sure. No, I believe, I know. If you do scout an enemy, you can never get surprised. Remember that, kids. If you scout, you can never get surprised. You can only get surprised in fights in which you did not scout. And the surprise chance increases with lower torch as well. So if you keep your torch up and you scout, you virtually should never, and I do mean never, get surprised. Um... Obviously, Shambler will shuffle you, but yeah. Um, with scouts, it's pretty good, and then obviously they make trinkets and campfire skills protect your behind as well, so... I actually, and I'm about to do something that might confuse some of you, I'm gonna get rid of the campfire, because, uh, I mean, I've already spoiled so much. Uh, this is just a straight up, that's why you just do it. Is it damage or just essence? Just stress heals. Come on, double scout, double scout. Mm, we're gonna go. And use the shovel we brought for. That's fine. Let's go. This gives resistance, but we're not gonna camp, so we're gonna do it. Screw it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's that one. Uh, oh, it's just a little stress heal. I thought it gave resistance. It might be. Double scout, double scout. Yes! Ha ha. We're gonna get rid of the keys now, I don't care. We're gonna get rid of some torches, boom, boom, boom. We just need to get rid of one more item. Who cares about, like, yeah, anti venoms? Nice. We're not gonna do the fish, might as well do the fish. Because I might get money. Um, pop the torch. It's one portrait, one portrait. We'll take the jade. Um,. Yeah, I got rid of the campfire because of Shield Breaker DLC. That's all I'll say. Um, obviously, if you know, you know. If you don't know, hey, it's still a secret, but also explains myself. So I get to do both. I get to tell you why I'm not doing it, and at the same time, if you haven't done it, you might be saying, well, what the heck happens with campfire Shield Breakers? So you can find out for yourself. I also have videos, obviously, on this channel of what does happen. So if you are super curious, you can still find out. That's probably the last one I'm going to use. Uh, yeah, especially since I can't take anything. Ah, oh, the citrines, the citrines. They always come back to bite me in the butt. I always think, ah, oh, I'm not going to get a lot of them. Take the more expensive ones. And then, of course, like, would have had like a thousand golds worth. We'll see. If I end with only one jade, obviously I missed out on like, what, 400 gold? Not a huge thing, but whatever. Wealth beyond measure. Do, 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 do. We're not going to use a shovel for that. Really got to keep the uh, shovels for... Okay, just a generic room battle fight. Alright, no problem. The Sodden Crew is who we're fighting. I always forget it. It's like the sunken, drowned, I don't know. I think I tend, tend to call them by their final. Because it's Swine God. Actually, I won't even know a majority of them. Like, I don't know what the hag's called. I just call her the hag's. Never mind. I think I only know God. I think the Drowned Crew is the last one. Maybe? I don't know. Um, fulminating? I think. Is it Fulminating? I don't know. I have my names for them. And I guess they may not be entirely correct as I'm struggling to uh, remember them. I don't even know what the Necromancer would be called. What is the Necromancer called? Huh. Oh. I would fail a, I would fail that quiz miserably. I only know swine because it goes logical. It's uh, Prince King God. Obviously, it's the Sodden Crew. I think the last one's the Drowned Crew. So I have no idea what the other crew would be. Probably, probably really obvious. I'm just totally blanking. Um. Oh wow, we got at least two more fights. When? Yeah, so I got rid of that thing. Uh, I don't need to eat food. Okay, torch is good. I just want to make sure. Ooh, shit. Okay. Oh, and a surprise. Ooh, okay. Um, blow up the front. Uh, I was kind of hoping not for a critical, but I think that was the only one I one-shotted anyways. I just wanted to do spear fishing, not this ability, because it freaking hurts. But I can heal through physical damage. 
We are we're not gonna play grenade because like I said we're gonna focus fire the front guys. He's technically dead next turn. So I'm actually going to gotta heal. Uh, I'm a little nervous to do a breakthrough if I get okay good. I'll say I don't wanna do a breakthrough before that guy went, because on the off chance, let's say the critical is on the middle guy, that would obviously bring him forward for a C-word slash. We're not doing that. Um, do I get to go before I'm just done? Okay, that's fine, as long as it's not a crit. Yep, perfectly fine. We'll just, yep, okay. Perfect, perfect fight. That, that fight is incredibly difficult. Um, it's glass cannon, but the problem with glass cannon enemy comps is they don't care if they die, because... They don't lose the game. When they're blowing your face up, it's hilarious because obviously you have to continue and now they just get to fade into the abyss while you have to look at the consequences. However, not a bad fight. On champion, that fight can be brutal. Like two critical C-word slashes, it puts you it puts you in the loony bin pretty darn quick, so. Um I want her to get into a position to heal. I also want to bring. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Yeah, I did just bring him for Seaward Slash. Yeah. I didn't think it would be a critical, but nice dodge. What's your stun? I'm not going to bother with you. Not this time. I'm going to do a breakthrough killing these two. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Says who? Who you gotta break through on? Nobody. You ain't gonna break through nobody. Alright. Well, I had the right idea, guys. It, just, it didn't go off. And sometimes things don't go off. And you are dead. Yay, you are dead. Okay. I can physically heal, which we're missing like a few HP on a few people. Not bad. Full HP and... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I blow you. And see if I get a crit. I said the crit would just been for the chance for stress heals. Not needed at all. I'm just trying to be if I want to make room. It's four crests. I don't care. I got plenty of crests. Actually. I have so many crests. I'm actually going to convert them. I'm going to probably come back for these curios. Um, got five torches, 12 food. Yeah, I'm coming back for those curios. I'm not going to show it on camera to save time. We'll talk about the next um, the next dungeon fight in town. Well, I'll show the results of the dungeon, but I'm not going to show me going back for those. I don't I don't have anything to say. I just, I just don't have anything to say. It's just going to be me trying out RNG. Um, it's not like anything weird's going to happen either. Oh, and I forgot to unshuffle, which this time it actually really helps my party comp. So I will take full blame and responsibility for completely cheating the system. This is a relatively reasonable comp because I pretty much get to reduce my enemies to two, and it's the weaker ones. So yes, you may flame me in the chat, say, I can't believe you forgot to unshuffle again. But it is my weakest thing in the game. Out of everything I do wrong, out of everything you can nitpick, this is just something that's been always indefensible with me. Just can't do it. Gun to my head. I don't know if I could do it 100 out of 100 times. Screw that. 10 out of 10 times. I don't know if I could do it 10 out of 10. This expedition at least oh, that's a lot of money. And, uh, how many spaces am I from? 1, 2, 3. I could get one turn out of the holy waters. That's not terrible. I don't really need the torches. Alright, well, we'll get rid of the torches. The portraits. We don't need the shovels. Okay. Let me just make sure... I don't care. I hope I hope uh, the siren takes her. Because I got Adder's Kiss, Puncture, Captivate. That's all fine and dandy. Which one wouldn't I use out of all of that? Puncture, I need that for the guard. I need that for the damage. I need that for damage. And that would be DOT damage. But I'd probably just pure. So why not put on Serpent Sway in case she gets rocked? Uh, uh, Breakthrough, if it bleeds. She has high... She's a 2... She's large, right? Where's she medium size? We'll put on iron. That's only no. We'll keep that on. I think I got all my skills. Got incision on. 
I don't want to increase anyone's damage just on the off chance. I'm, I'm just going to do that, actually. Because if someone else out there in the vessel gets taken, I can't have her be that slow. Oh, that's right. What am I doing? It's not the siren. It's not the siren. Guys. It's not the siren. I got to stop prepping like it's the freaking siren. Now, it is unholy. Ah, yeah. Uh, I could, and I will, because I can add her kiss, and that will probably blow up. Now, still got a lot of bleed, um, resist. I was right about that, but uh, yeah, just not the siren. I don't, I don't know why I'm gonna get that in my head. Apparently, the shuffling and the uh, knowing the boss was not on the docket for today. That was just not something we're doing. 31 HP gone. I think we're going to blow up the uh, Anchorman one more time. Um, I think... Holy... Double criticals. You're dead, Sodding Crew. I'm sorry. This is just... This is a no-go on you. You're dead. You're dead. You're already missing 40 HP. You're missing your boarding clutches. This is another... Wow, that's five turns. That's, that's another 30 damage. Um, I can't... I could stun you, but... I'd say, bam, 11 damage. Yeah, you so done. You, you toast. Oh, man, you're already down 60 HP. And, uh, oh, 9 damage. It's over. Call today. We're not even going to kill the next anchor, man. 4 attacks straight into the crew. If I can't kill you in 4 attacks, I didn't do something right. Even with that, it doesn't matter. I uh, resisted the pool anyways. Good night, my sweet prince. My sweet, sweet, sweet crew. Oh, getting crushed for 15 by Vestal. Embarrassing. 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 I gotta keep the food. Um, but I don't need that, and I don't need that. Alright. Once again, I'll show you the dungeon results. I'm just gonna collect some loot. See ya. Alright, it was totally almost... Wait. Worthless going back. Oh, we got the Fladge, 10%, 20% Death. I'm just going to sell it. I don't plan ever being on Death Store with the Fladge because... Um... I would be more of a mad lad if I didn't have a super... Yes, free upgrade for one armor. Tell me more. Uh, we'll just grab the shield. Oh, I guess I need to buy it first, which I know we can. Boom, free weapon. It's technically the most expensive armor at the moment, so we'll take it. It's not like it saves me a lot of money, but I think it's like a grand. It's still money, though. Uh, so we're selling that, 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 that. Nice. A lot more money. Alright, and that finally concludes all of our bosses for Apprentice. I will be... I got maybe I'll do a poll and ask do you want to see me bring up all the other resolve ones and I only do videos of the the veteran because I still I still want to bring up at least half these people on this raid it's just doing dungeons without a purpose I mean I'll unlock bosses and I guess I could send the veterans in them maybe that's what I'll do I'll think about it by the time you see this video I'll have a little more time to think about. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.